Kaguya Sama never fails to amaze me with its uh, funny, its banter back and forth with its funny ability to keep me entertained. I just don't know, man. Yui Ishigami is something else. He's so damn funny and hilarious. I just get a kick out of <laughs> seeing his character grow and just flourish. And well, he got a crush now. Um, and then, you know, all the other students, you know, in the freaking in and obviously the student council doing their best to keep their grades up or keep their stature up of uh being the best in their class you know i find that hilarious and then you get the ending of the episode when it looks like oh it's gonna be a sleepover um but it ends up being a sleepover at kage's with only her and jika and then next thing you know it gets down to the point where it looks like uh a confession is going to be made somebody admittance is going to be made but then all of a sudden um we have it to where funniness ensues and stuff like that just this show is great man this i i love kaguya sama so the first part of the episode uh it's a centered around kind of an, it, really it's kind of like a middle literally the middle portion the beginning middle portion of this episode is centered around ishigami um of the aspect of you know he's just we know Ichi, ichigami's character best boy you can you know you can say a bunch of stuff and everything and this man man i'm telling you this man because kaguya asked like oh you know some you know about the girl about you know the freaking test taking and everything going on and she's also wondering like oh do you have a crush or something down there and everything and obviously Ijigami's like oh please I don't have no crush and all of a sudden this very cute attractive girl named Subame um or Su I think it's Subame or Subane yeah I think it's Subane um she comes in she looks cute i ain't gonna lie my boy ishigami he's trying i need my guy to spit some game she's a cute girl uh, <laughs> um and she's like it seems like she's very close to him and i don't know if she likes him like that but uh you know he gets into it and then obviously when kaguya sees like oh so you do have a crush oh and it's funny because they come up with strategies to, you know, try to get him to talk to her. But it comes off as kind of creepy, I guess you can say, um, because of some of the things he's suggesting are like creepy stalkerish type of things and stuff like that, um, which even I would have to agree. I'm like, I don't know, like, you know, leaving the flowers on the desk every different day. Even Kyle's like, that's kind of creepy, man. Chillax. And honestly, Kyle's like, I know a good way to get her. And that's scoring the highest on the exam, on the exam, because they're in the time and they're about to take their exams and everything. And you, Ichigami, Ichigami is like, I don't typically do good on these exams and stuff like that. And, you know, Kaguya's like, yeah, it's because you don't devote yourself to studying and doing all these things and stuff like that. Um, so that was the whole thing of you just see Ichigami doing all this, you know, I guess you would say this studying just to get better so we can impress Subane. Um, in the meantime, we actually do cut over to other of uh, the student council members and we have it to where, you know, you have um, Shirogane. He's trying to find his way to freaking improve so he can stay on the top of his game and stuff like that. Same for Eno, Miko Eno um, and everything. Um, but, you know, day comes to the exam. He's like, I can do this. I can remember everything. And he barely even cracks like the top 50, I believe, that was on the board. Um, so obviously he's kind of disappointed. He goes to the bathroom, disappointed, but Kagi is like right there and says, So will you finally be taking this more seriously now? And obviously he's come to the conclusion he's gonna take this more seriously, even though this is gonna take away from Kagi's study time. Also, we do find out uh Shirogane um and you know they're both first place in their class um which kind of disappointed freaking kaguya um to the point she was stepping all over the place or stomping the ground so that was pretty funny um i, I love ishigami's character it was great 
and everything. I am, I'm guessing this is gonna be the storyline of his is if he can get this girl, Subane. Um, we know his backstory about the one girl, you know, kind of just like not understanding what he meant and everything kind of just being, you know, faked out and, you know, tricked in a way. Um, but it seems like this girl genuinely likes him. Um, so we'll see where that whole storyline's going. So, yeah. But arguably, probably the funniest storyline of this episode was Chica's nosebleed. Um, just because she's that utterly shocked about guy on guy. Um, <laughs> my gosh. Um, anyways, what happens is, you know, because the exam's over, Chica wants to have a little fun. You know, sleepover party and stuff like that. And she wants to invite uh, Shirogane. And Kagi gets the deal. Oh, Shirogane comes over. I can finally get him. Um, and stuff like that. But the thing is, Shirogane couldn't make it. As well as the, any of the others couldn't make it. So it's only Chika and Kaguya. And, of course, uh, Hayasaka um, freaking had to pretend to be um, a maid. Or, uh, not a maid. A man butler this time just to fool Chica so Chica doesn't see that it's her. Um, and at first, you know, they're walking and they're talking, you know. Now, the thing is, her persona here is called Mr. Hartika. Um, and Chica, she's thinking that Kaguya and Hartika have some sort of, you know, scandalous relationship going on between, you know, woman of the house and butler. You know, is, is, is that even allowed and everything and stuff like that? And obviously they're like, no, please, no. I mean, even highest because like, oh, not like that. We're not like that. Ooh, sorry, I'm doing this video early in the morning. But anyways, I guess the point they get to the bed, they're going to call up Shogane. But the thing is, we see with Kaguya, she's kind of like, I guess you could say how I was acting right there. She's very freaking tired. Um, and she's exhausted because we find out, oh, she likes to go to bed at like, I think they said 10 on the spot, 10 or 11 on the spot or something like that. I think, I think it was 11. I don't remember. Um, and it's like midnight. They're calling, uh, Shogani and they're wondering like, what the heck? And she's like, oh, dozed off. Now they're FaceTiming this dude and he sees Kagi. He's like, Shinomiya, what are you doing, man? And she's just like, oh, hi, Shogane. You know, I know who you like or something like that. Um, and that was the whole thing of, you know, I'm admit it's this call because she gets like, oh, you know, who do you think the freaking president is in love with and everything? And they ask him, he's like, what are you talking about? He's like, no, I'm not going to tell you all that information um, and stuff like that. Um, and it looks like freaking Kaguya is going to essentially you know admit that she's in love with uh I guess you can say she's in love with um him but it ends up going to the thing of oh Shiragane is like in love with Mr. Hartika and that shocks Chika so damn much she's like she gets a literal nosebleed right down her nose and she's like uh I gotta go to the restroom real quick. <laughs> and she at the end of the episode, you just have her just gushing blood out of her nose because she can't take the shock of a guy on guy in her eyes. I'm like, what? Um, and essentially it looks like you know, we're getting con a confession confession scene between um Shogane and Kaguya, but Kaguya falls asleep on the bed. Lays down, knocks out, and Hayasaka's like, oh, thank you for calling. I'll talk to you later. And obviously, he's like, what? So, so close, yet so far. Um, and she goes in the bathroom just bleeding her nose out, which is hilarious. So, um, yeah. Um, this episode was funny. I enjoyed it. I enjoy Kaguya Sama Love is War. Um, season three has been great. Can't wait for more. I think there's nothing else I can say. Chica bleeding her nose out was hilarious. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of her. Hopefully, you guys have a good rest of your day or night return this video. Until then, guys, catch you guys on the next video. Hit the subscribe button if you like my content on the channel. And when you do hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the notification bell icon so you're up to date with whatever I upload to the channel. Anyways, guys, see you later. Peace.